Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn about Newton's law of motion. So it's a very interesting and an important topic. So first of all, I would like to tell you that there are three laws given by Sir Isaac Newton for the motion. And subsequently, we call them Newton's first law, Newton's second law and Newton's third law of motion. So let's study all these laws one by one. Moving on to the very first law, that is Newton's first law of motion. So let's understand what is the statement given in the Newton's first law of motion. It states that a body at rest continues to be at rest or a body in uniform motion continues to be in uniform motion tak, until and unless some external force is applied to it. So that means if a body rest pe hai, to wo tab tak rest pe rahe ki jab tak uske upar koi external force apply nahi karega. At the same time, agar ek body uniform motion mein hai, to wo tab tak uniform motion mein rahe ki jab tak uske upar koi external force apply karke uske state ko rest pe na de. Okay? So this is the Newton's law of motion. Now one more important thing which we need to know in this law. Har cheez ka do naam hota hai yahan pe. Mera, aapka, sabka. घर का एक नाम होता है बाहर का दूसरा नाम होता है फिजिक्स में भी यही होता है जनरली हर चीज का दो नाम रख लिया जाता है सो न्यूटन्स फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ मोशन इज आल्सो नोन एज द लॉ ऑफ इनर्शिया नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन द अर्लियर वीडियोस व्हाट इज इनर्शिया व्हाट इज इट्स टाइप एंड एग्जैक्टली इनर्शिया होता क्या है वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस लेट्स टेक अ वेरी सिंपल एग्जांपल यू सी दिस ऑब्जेक्ट राइट हियर ओके दिस इज एट रेस्ट Right now, this is at rest. Now, the question is, ये कब तक rest पे रहेगा? The answer is until and unless some external force is applied to it, it will continue to be at rest. Okay? Let's take a different example. At the same time, this object is in motion. Now, कब तक ये motion पे रहेगा? Until and unless some external force is applied to it और इसको rest पे ले आया जाए. So this is a very simple law, and that is the Newton's first law of motion. Now this law is somehow related to the inertia. इसको law of inertia भी बोला जाता है तो इसका क्या मतलब है? We have a relationship between inertia and mass of the body, and the relationship is actually directly proportional. That is, the inertia is directly proportional to the mass of the body. Greater the mass, greater will be its inertia. Let's take a very simple example. You see these two objects right now here. Okay, one object is of 500 kg, and the other object is of 5 kg and the question is it would be difficult to bring in motion which body in me se kis body ko motion mein lane mein hame zyada dikkat hogi so the answer is obviously the body which is of 500 kilograms why kyunki uska mass zyada hai mass zyada hone se kya ho gaya mass is directly proportional to inertia jitna zyada mass utna zyada inertia aur jitna zyada inertia that means utna zyada ye body oppose karegi motion mein aane ko so that was all in the Newton's first law of motion. Okay, so let's discuss now Newton's second law of motion. We have already discussed about the first law. It's time to understand what is Newton's second law of motion. Now before jumping on to the Newton's second law of motion, we need to understand one term. And that term is momentum. So let's try to understand what is this momentum. Because momentum is directly used in the Newton's second law of motion. So it's very important for us to understand momentum first and then we'll move on to the Newton's second law of motion. So let's have the definition of momentum. It is actually the product of mass and velocity. That means when you multiply mass with velocity of an object, the term which we get now is known as the momentum. Okay? Momentum is denoted with the uh, symbol small p and its formula is small p is equals to m into v where m is the mass of the body and v is the velocity of the body. Now, if this uh, momentum is product of mass and velocity, now let's try to understand what will be the rate of change of momentum. Okay, The rate of change of momentum will be m into v minus u upon t. Okay, m into v minus u is the rate of change of momentum. Now let's come to the Newton's second law of motion and the Newton's second law of motion states that the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the unbalanced force on the body. 
this is the rate of change of momentum and this term is directly proportional to the unbalanced force applied to the body now if we use the sign of proportionality so this is what the newton's second law of motion uh, is, is stating that is the unbalanced force is directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum now look at this uh, equation very carefully you will notice this term v minus u upon t what is this v minus u upon t final velocity minus initial velocity upon time if you are saying acceleration then that is the correct answer we can substitute v minus u upon t with acceleration so the next equation becomes that force is directly proportional to mass into acceleration okay force is directly proportional to mass into acceleration now, after writing this equation we need to remove the sign of proportionality and what is the way of removing the sign of proportionality we replace it with equal to sign and introduce a new constant into the system so let's see what is the equation now now replace this sign of proportionality with equal to sign and this will be the new equation now k multiplied by m into a now you must be thinking what is this k here as i already said that we need to introduce a new constant into the system so that is why this k is the new constant here we don't need to worry about this because it's, it's uh, because its value is equals to 1 okay so if we substitute its value is equals to 1 the final formula which we are getting from newton's second law of motion is equals to f is equals to m into a okay so this is the formula which we are getting from the newton's second law of motion i hope you all have understood now it's time to understand about some uh, real life examples which are related to the newton's second law of motion let's take the example of a cricketer catching a ball now you must have noticed that when a cricketer catches a ball he or she moves his or her hand in the backward direction you see after taking the catch they move their hand in their backward direction now what is the reason behind it you see this is the reason here we can see that force is inversely proportional to the time period which time period time taken by the body to come at rest and what is this f here this is the force applied by the body so that means if we increase the time taken by the body to come at rest the force will be subsequently decreased and this is what the cricketers do while taking a catch they move in their move their hand in the backward direction at that time what happens is the ball takes longer time to come at rest since the time period of the ball to come at rest gets increased the force applied by the ball gets decreased so this is a practical application of newton's second law of motion i again explain the statement that is the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the unbalanced force and this is what newton's second law of motion so students it's time to understand the newton's third law of motion again it's going to be very interesting and an easy one please listen to it very carefully okay let's have the newton's third law of motion its statement is for every action there is equal and opposite reaction you see this is a very simple law it states that for every action there is equal and opposite reaction now let's understand this law with the help of a real life example okay the example is i am hitting this board okay i am hitting this board right now what will happen there will be two things which will happen board damage ho sakta hai mera haath bhi damage ho sakta hai now the point is main to isko hit kar raha hu na to mere haath pe chot kyun lag rahi hai chot to sirf board ko lagne chahiye why am i feeling that pain it can be explained with the help of newton's third law of motion which says that if i am applying some action on a body this body in return will also apply a reaction on me okay and that will be opposite in the direction and the magnitude will be equal let's take an example if this is body a and if this is body b now let's say say that they happen to collide against each other ye dono bhid jate hain 
so what will happen a force will be applied by body a in this direction okay a force will be applied by body a f a b now what is this f a b that means force applied by body a on body b okay at the same time there will be a force applied by body b on body a okay and they are equal but they are you see opposite in direction so how do we indicate that they are opposite in direction with the help of a minus sign okay with the help of a minus sign we indicate that the two forces are opposite in direction so this is the relation which we are getting now it's time to understand some practical applications of newton's third law of motion okay one example i have already explained to you that while hitting the board i also get hurt that is an example of newton's third law of motion let's take one more example and that is the concept of rockets the rockets also work on this concept only you see this rocket right here what happens is when the fuel burns a thrust is applied on the atmosphere bahar ke atmosphere pe ek action lagata hai rocket theek hai due to this action the atmosphere also applies an upward force onto the rocket as a reaction and with the help of this reaction the body tries to move in the upward direction and there are many more examples of this newton's third law of motion just look around yourself you will be able to find many more applications so students this was all in the newton's law of motion again repeating we have three laws first is newton's first law which is also known as law of inertia the second law that is related to the momentum and the third law which is related to the concept of action and reaction just remember the noted down that the two forces actions and reactions are equal and opposite in direction so that's all in newton's law of motion now we'll meet in the next video thank you everyone